We've got a fun little British sports car, 1960 MGA model, uh, four-cylinder, four-speed, leather interior, top, tonneau cover, just a sporty little car. Gentleman I bought it from literally lives about five miles from us. He's owned this car since 1990. That's the last 33 years he's owned this car. Top is down. Well, let's go for a spin. And you can visit volocars.com to find all the price tags on all the cars we have for sale, along with the monthly finance option as well. Now, he described this as a ground up restoration. Uh, an outstanding shape, and it is a very good car. This is not a $100,000 car, so keeping all that into perspective, the car shows really well, runs and drives really well. Matter of fact, it flew through our uh, shop inspection. I just bought it a couple days ago, and here it is. Normally, we buy a car, and it's sitting in here three, four weeks later, uh, but this one flew through with flying colors. So again, it presents itself very nicely, nice bright red glossy paint. The body was completely all disassembled when it was restored. It was probably 20 plus years ago that it was done. <clears throat> so when you're looking for flaws, there's little imperfections. There's the rub line where the top would sit. Uh, some little, I don't know, marks in the paint right along there. This is all nice and straight though. Just some imperfections in the paint, some shrinkage in the paint right there. I love how the tail lights jet right out of the fenders. Here's a little scratch touched up, but it's all good, clean, solid metal. There's a little mark in the paint like something dripped on it. Uh, it's all nice and clean. The doors, you actually pull on a cable to open the doors. Straight, little like a little door dent, door ding if you look for them here and there. This is all nice and clean. Uh, here's a, a crack in the paint. Looks like a, a hair, thick hair laying there. A little bit of shrinkage in, in the paint. The texture, uh, you know, it's, instead of like glass, there's a little texture here and there. Uh, new welting between the panels. But the body is dry. It's solid. It's been painted for many years. There's no rust showing. Here's a scratch touched up right here. Um, so, yeah, very, very presentable. Is it perfect? No. Will it get compliments? Absolutely. This Chrome MGA looks new. 1600 uh, looks new. Original Chrome frame is bright and shiny with just a few scratches. Has the wing windows. This Chrome is bright. Gas cap, you pull the little tab and it opens. Somehow or other, there we go. The bumpers are nice and bright and shiny. This is bright chrome. This looks really good. So that's all nice and shiny. I'm sure it's been redone. It does have the complete convertible top, folds right behind the seat that does unfold. Uh, it's in excellent shape. It also has the side windows that you have to pop into these brackets. Uh, that's mounted right here in this bag behind the seats. And then also as a tonneau cover, that's the easiest way to go. If you're out somewhere and maybe it starts to drizzle, you just snap the tonneau cover over it, you know, boom, boom, and you're done. Uh, all nice, the rubber seal looks real good. Mirrors on each fender, the chrome's nice and bright. This chrome's bright, the lenses are clean. Everything up here is beautiful, bright, shiny chrome. It has the badge bar on it, MG, all nice and shiny. Uh, it's got the steel rims with the chrome trim, MG in the middle. It uh, looks like uh, a, a nice looking car. Let's open it up. We'll finish the tour of the inside. So behind the back seat, there's a red metal pull. You pull that and that releases the trunk. Uh, inside here, just nice and clean, it's carpeted. This is the tonneau cover I was talking about. There's a spare tire. Uh, Obviously a jack, wrench, a couple extra belts. And there you have it. Looks nice and clean. There is a prop rod. You can actually you know, prop it open. I think we'll just go ahead and close it. These are very simple cars. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when they're posted. Uh, jams are nice, door panels are nice.
Now these, this big chrome knob is for the side windows. They're slide, uh, they're plastic windows that slide back and forth. Uh, cup holder, obviously he added that, but it's nice to nice to have. Uh, all in real good shape. <clears throat> this lever is your turn signals. Smith gauges, you got a tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge. The early models didn't even have fuel gauges. You got a wooden stick you put in the fuel tank. Oil and water, horn. Uh, it has an old Motorola radio. Look at this, it even has navigation system. Walnut knob, and then down underneath here, is an 8-track player he installed, and there's speakers on each side hanging in there. But all the carpet's in real nice shape. It has nice rubber MG floor mats, uh, genuine leather upholstery, even the armrest cushion, red piping, <clears throat> all in very nice shape. Original wheel, in good shape. Paint's a little worn. It's got a little crack right there, but you know, it's a good original steering wheel. All the knobs are here. And uh, if you didn't know about an MG, the way to start it, you pull this knob, you turn the key on, and you pull this knob, and that's your starter. Uh, kind of a unique feature to an MG. And inside those door pockets, that cable I told you about, you pull on a cable and the door opens. So it's a 1600, and uh, that comes from the 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine. And you can see it has dual carburetors. Motor runs really well. A gentleman we bought it from, obviously he didn't drive it all over the country, but he would take it out for some fun rides. That's why he has a stereo and cup holder. Uh, all very clean, neat, orderly, proper. Original tags, the VIN number does match the title properly. Lucas plug wires. So Caleb's going to take you for your drive, and uh, you guys let me know if he gets it up over 100. He's not supposed to do that. See you soon. All right, once again, Caleb is out sick, so I get to get out of the office and do some test drives. Fun, sporty car to take out on a crisp fall morning. I didn't exactly mean a cold January day, but you know what? I'm still having fun. This is a completely different animal than most of the muscle cars that I drive. It's a different feel, a different sound, uh, but I love it. Shifting through the gears, find some nice back roads. Downshifting, upshifting. It's actually uh, pretty responsive. Such a little car, it's it's not loose at all. Everything feels very tight. Oops, that's my fault. I don't think first gear is synchronized. It has full set of Smith gauges, just like the Jaguar. seems like it's doing everything right. Actually rides a lot better than I thought. The steering's very tight, shifts very easily. Right there, 60 miles an hour. I feel completely safe and confident. It's not shaking. This lever here is your turn signals. Even though right now it's probably in the upper 20s, I'm still having fun. Get some earmuffs. I can go driving right now. Well, 
Well, we'll head back into the studio and get warmed up and finish the video. So it comes with a little box of goodies. We've got touch-up paint. We've got some eight-track tapes for you, uh, some miscellaneous parts, catalogs, literature, a People's Choice Award at the British Car Festival. And then here's a nice framed little uh, specification uh, for this car, the engine, the cooling, the transmission, the brakes, tells you all about the MGA right there. So this will all go with the car. Underneath is orderly, clean, solid. Up front, it has independent suspension. Actually, it has disc brakes and rack and pinion steering as well. And then the floor pans, the frame, all that's nice, clean. It's painted. Um, fuel tank's clean. Uh, it has the correct type exhaust. Um, so these little English cars are just a lot of fun. They're a completely different feel. I drive the Camaros and all the hot rods. But getting these out, I always say on a nice fall day, a Sunday morning, top down, put your goggles on, shifting through the gears, the sound they make, they're just fun. They're sporty. You're going to want to look for a windy back road and shift and downshift. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a vintage red sports car. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your door and how to get it financed. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you're notified when we post the next one. Thanks for watching.